good morning dear students so, so we'll we will discuss an engine or will be what is the definition of an engine so the basic concept say of an engine what do you mean engine by an is engine is a device which converts major classification heat energy into an mechanical engine. energy so already we have studied we cannot create or destroy energy but we can transform one form of energy into other so engine converts heat energy to mechanical energy but where does this heat energy is coming that is the question so we have seen a number of engine in say an automobile also we have seen engine part of a generator systems but where this heat energy is coming in an engine and it is obtained from burning of fuel so that means if any an engine to work with we have to use some sort of fuel and we are burning that fuel and that chemical energy contained by that fuel is converted into heat energy and the mechanical energy the most useful form of mechanical energy is simply a rotation of a shaft so we are burning a fuel and finally what we are getting we are getting a shaft which is rotating at high speed and that shaft is normally known as the crank shaft and this mechanical energy we can use for different purpose for example in an automobile we are using this mechanical energy for the rotation of wheels while in a generator set in an engine generator set it is used for the rotation of shaft of the generator for producing electricity so like that is having several applications so overall the engine produce mechanical energy and which is derived from the chemical energy of fuel and we are burning that fuel to produce heat now what do you mean by heat engine so engine and heat engine are more or less used as a same word but heat engine we are defining a heat engine with respect to thermodynamic concepts so if a system is to be considered as heat engine it has to satisfy four conditions so what are that four conditions first one is it should absorb heat from a high temperature source so that is the first condition and the second condition is it should convert a part of this heat into useful work and third one is the remaining heat that is the difference between this heat received and the work developed should be rejected to a low temperature sink and finally it should operate in cycle that means it should continue this three in a cyclic manner and this is the block diagram of a heat engine so you can see here this is our heat engine the system so it absorbs the heat q1 from a high temperature reservoir and this is known as the source and it produces some work some mechanical work is produced and it rejects the remaining heat q2 to a low temperature reservoir and this is known as a sink so this is the definition of a heat engine so engine and heat engine is more or less the same but heat engine we are defining with respect to thermodynamic concepts but engine means we are simply defining it with respect to the application now we will classify engine that is our next question so engines or the heat engines are broadly classified into two categories mainly we have two categories that is ic engine and ec engine that is internal combustion engine and external combustion engine so this is an internal combustion engine our petrol engine diesel engine all are examples of internal combustion engine and what is an external combustion engine 
steam engine the first engine discovered or invented was a steam engine by james watt in 18th century and earlier most of the engine were external combustion engine so it is a steam engine is an example of external combustion engine so you can see and spot out some difference between these two a number of difference are there so you can see here this is our cylinder we have a cylinder this is a four cylinder ic engine we have four cylinders and we can see the combustion takes place inside this cylinder so you can see here the fuel is burned inside this four cylinders at different time but what about here this is our cylinder here here also we have a cylinder but there is no combustion inside but you can see here the combustion takes place outside so that is the major difference and that is why it is known as internal combustion and this is known as external combustion so in internal combustion engine combustion takes place inside the working cylinder but in external combustion engine the combustion takes place outside so you can see here we are using a separate combustion chamber or boiler otherwise we are using a combustion chamber for producing heat but inside the cylinder we are not burning any fuel it is taken place outside and what are the other difference you can see here there is a huge difference in size this is a very huge structure steam engine is very huge compared to our normal ic engines which is very compact and why it is so is because of the external combustion engine requires a number of components you can see a combustion chamber is required and we required a boiler so most of the external combustion engine works with steam so to create steam from water you require a boiler so this represents a boiler and also this pumping the water we require a pump so a number of components are required in external combustion engine compared to ic engine size and weight will be very high for the same power this due to the fact that we are using a number of components like boiler combustion chamber pump etc this will be very huge and what about efficiency efficiency which one will have more efficiency so ic engine is having more efficiency because we are burning the fuel at the same place where the work is produced so you can see here the work or the movement of the piston creates a work here which is converted to the rotation of this shaft so in ic engine we are burning the fuel at the same place where we are producing work but what about here here the work is produced by this movement of the piston but heat is generated somewhere else that is far away from the piston in the combustion chamber so that means there will be a number of loss while transferring this heat energy to this boilers to produce steam and again we are passing this steam to the piston so while transferring to different energy forms there will be a number of loss so efficiency will be very less for external combustion engine so external combustion engine efficiency will be around 10 to 20 percentage only but our ic engines normally it will have efficiency greater than 30 percentage or even 40 percentage so that is a comparison of efficiency and what are the other difference and all of this what we are points where the advantage discussed points where the advantage of ic engines so ic engine is having less size and weight ic engine is having less number of components ic engine is having more efficiency but the one advantage of external combustion engine is it is not fuel specific we can use any type of fuel we can use solid fuel also why why because there is no connection between the fuel and the cylinder so you can see here fuel is burned here 
but the work is produced here so there is no connection between the fuel and the direct contact between fuel and the cylinder or piston so we can use any type of fuel we can use coal or we can use any solid fuel liquid fuel but what about ic engine we know that a petrol car will not work with diesel similarly a diesel car will not work with petrol that we will discuss later more detail but why it is so because ic engines are fuel specific if it is a petrol engine you must use petrol if it is a diesel engine you must use diesel and also its quality is very very important you cannot use a cheap fuel which will harmfully affect the working of an engine so that is the main advantage of external combustion engine compared to ic engine we can use any fuel any solid fuel any cheap fuel we can use so we can see most of the power plants coal based power plants we are using external combustion engine because it works on the basis of burning of coal and another question is why we are not using this external combustion engine in our automobiles now we can see more, no automobiles currently in use or commercially in use are external combustion engine all are internal combustion engine why it is so is there any reason for that okay even though the efficiency is more size is more we can still use external combustion engine because we can use coal we can use coal if we are using external combustion engine in a car we can use coal we can avoid petrol diesel prices increasing day by day but still we are not using any external combustion engine in commercial automobiles so what is the reason can you point out that the main reason is we cannot instantaneously start an external combustion engine because it works on the basis of steam so you know that if for producing steam or converting water to high pressure steam it requires some time it will not be converted instantaneously but what about ic engine we know that a car a petrol car or a diesel car will start instantaneously when you put a key and you put the switch on it will start with a seconds it will start working and that is not possible with external combustion engine that is a big problem and that is why we are not using this external combustion engine for commercial automobiles and this is the entire classification of heat engine so we can see here we have two broad classification ic engine and ec engine and again this can be classified on the basis of whether it is reciprocating in nature or rotatory in nature so you can see here external combustion engine also we can classify into reciprocating and rotatory in nature and these are the two engine we are going to study in detail gasoline engine or petrol engine gasoline is another name for petrol mostly used in us and diesel engine so these two are internal combustion engine and they are reciprocating engines also but you can see some rotary engines are there wankel engine some open cycle gas turbine but these are not used in automobiles widely they are have some special applications and similarly external combustion engine also have reciprocating engines steam engine and stirling engine are reciprocating external combustion engine and it also have rotary engines like steam turbines and closed cycle gas turbines so this is the entire classification of engines so we have two broad classification ic engine and ec engine and again these two are classified into reciprocating and rotary but you have to concentrate only on these two engines which is in the syllabus that is gasoline engine or petrol engine and diesel engine so both are reciprocating ic engines now finally we have to summarize the difference between ic engine and ec engine already we have discussed the points 
So first difference is in combustion. The major difference in IC engine, the combustion takes place inside the working cylinder. While EC engine it takes place outside the working cylinder. Then weight and size. IC engine it is less. We know that a small cylinder or the size of a petrol car, engine etc. will be some few centimeter cube or few millimeter cube. But due to the presence of components like boiler, pump etc. The size of AC engine will be very huge. And another difference is in terms of efficiency. In IC engine, it has more efficiency due to direct combustion. But AC engine, it is less due to high heat loss. Then the type of fuel. That is the type of fuel. This IC engines are highly fuel specific and high quality fuel is required. But EC engines we can use any cheap solid fuel like coal. So this point is the only advantage of external combustion engine. Compared to all other points, all others are advantages of IC engine. And EC engine is having disadvantages. But this point, the type of fuel, EC engine is having an upper hand over IC engine. And starting, this is the main reason why we are not using EC engine in commercial vehicles. Starting, it is instantaneous in IC engine. But in EC engine, the time is required for production of high process steam. Now, examples we know that petrol engine, diesel engine, all these, these are IC engines. And EC engines, steam engine, steam turbine, these are used in ship. Marine application ship we are using steam turbines because there the starting is not a problem. It's uh, we will get enough time before the ship left from the port, and also for power plants, thermal power plants we are using these external combustion engine. So these are the examples of IC engine and EC engine. So next class we will discuss the better parts and specifications of IC engines. Thank you.